Hello people, welcome to Smart Timber Graphics. My name is George. In this video, we'll learn how to create an audio visualizer or audio spectrum in After Effects. Let's jump straight to the tutorial and get going. You'll need several things before you start. So one would be the song, obviously. The second would be some sort of photo that you could use as a background photo for your video. Preferably, you should use your logo, but you don't really have to. So without further talking, let's jump straight to creating a new composition by dragging your song to the new composition icon. This will create a nice composition. Then right click the song, go to Keyframe Assistant and click Convert Audio to Keyframes. Then bring the properties of audio amplitude. Go to effects. Make sure you select the left and right channels and click delete because we don't need those. And bring down the both channels properties and leave it like that to the point that you can see the slider. Then create a new solid. Name it spectrum. Click OK. Go to effects and presets and search for the effect called audio spectrum and add this to the spectrum layer. Here where it says audio layer. Make sure you set it to the actual song so it can react to the song. Then for the start point, set this value to 0. And for the end point, set it to 1920. And depending on your composition size, this may be different. Here we are using 1920 composition. That's why we're using this as the end point. So it stretches all the way out. Then let's add another effect called polar coordinates and add this to the spectrum layer. Bring the interpolation all the way to 100 and set the type of conversion to rectal polar. So create a circle out of it. Then search for another effect called mirror and add this effect to the spectrum layer. And here, adjust the reflection center as you see it fit. So in our case, it should be around 958. So again, depending on your composition, this may be different. Let's go back to the audio spectrum effects and adjust them to our liking. So uh, you can bring softness all the way to zero, bring up the thickness to something like five. Then for the maximum height, set this to 2000. Number of band, frequency bands, so the higher the number, more bands you'll have. So let's set this to something like 200. And for the end and start frequency, depending on the song, you can play around with it and adjust it as you see fit. So in our case, I'll be using these values. Of course, you can change the color of it. So let's set some sort of like dark purple and some like this color. And then you can play around with hue interpolation. I like to set it to 112 so we get different colors, different shades. And if we preview this right now, you'll see that our bands are reacting and expanding in both ways. So if you don't want that, go to side options in here. If you set it to side A, they'll only react to the inside. If you set it to side B, they'll only react to the outside. So I'm going to leave it at side B because that's the effect I want to create in this video. So you can see that our spectrum is reacting to our song and you can go ahead and experiment with it and adjust it to the way you like it. I'm just going to leave it like this for the sake of the tutorial. Let's add a background to our composition. Drag your background photo. Drop it down here. Make sure you pre-compose it and name it PG and make sure you select move all attributes into the new composition. Then click T for opacity and set opacity to 50%. And go to effects and presets and search for CC radial fast blur and apply this to the BG layer. Set amount to zero. And here, alt click the stopwatch. And right down here, let's type value plus and drag this pick whip and drop it to the audio amplitude both channels slider and then click away and then if we preview this you'll see that the blur will react to the song and you can make the effect more intensive by typing times two or if it's too intensive and you want to decrease it just go ahead and type divide by two and you know you get the point here so i'm going to leave it like so also select the pg layer and click t for opacity then i'll click the opacity and do the same thing so type value plus drag this pick whip to the slider here click away and now 
our opacity will also be reacting to this song just like that. Let's add another effect. So go to effects and presets and search for wiggle and grab wiggle rotation. Apply this to the BG layer. And next, go to the wiggle speed and set the value to 0.5. And for the wiggle amount, set the amount to something like 3. Again, you can play around with it until you see it fit for yourself. And also, important part, select the PG and press S to bring the scale properties and set the scale to 110. And if we preview this right now, you'll see that we're getting this smooth rotation, so it's not a stale image anymore. And that looks cool in my opinion. And as I said, you could add your logo to this. So let me bring my logo here and adjust the scaling and the position as you see fit. Once you've added your logo and adjusted the position of it, go ahead and select your logo and Spectrum and pre-compose them. Let's name this Spectrum and search for an effect called Magnify and add this Magnify effect to the Spectrum layer. For the magnification, set it to 100 and for the size, set it to 1000. And make sure for the blending mode, you set it to none. Then alt click the magnification and here type value plus drag the pick whip to the slider here. Then click away. And by previewing this, one important thing before we proceed, go ahead and scroll down, find the song and turn it off so you don't get duplicated sound. You'll see that now our spectrum with the logo itself reacts to the song. And that's cool. At this point, our tutorial is complete. Uh, I'm not going to go any further, adding extra particles and elements to this because I don't want to make this tutorial too advanced. But if you'd like me to release a more advanced version of this tutorial with all the particles and extra elements added to the composition, feel free to request it in the comment section down below and I'll consider creating it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Oh,